do you think that there's an age that a person should stop learning or no i think it's i think there's no limit to learning you should just keep learning and then when you're old you can pass more information to your grandson My name is Raphael, and I'm nine years old. My name is Evelyn Birdie. I was born in the Bronx, New York. I go to public school, PS173. I wear a kippa to school because I really feel like I want to stand out. When I was growing up, it wasn't considered necessary for girls to go to school to learn their Yiddish kite. The most precious gift we were given when we were born was the Torah. So how did you get involved with Ura and start learning with your Torah? So my mom was also in Torah Mates. I decided to join her. My daughter is involved with Ura. She was teaching a lady and I said, maybe there's somebody available who could teach me. And it's been a delight for me. Yitzhak is a good man. He's very patient. Usually other people would like, maybe stop me in the middle of a sentence and rephrase. He does it at the end. What do you learn together with your Torah meet? We spend the time together, half studying the part of the week and half answering my questions. I sometimes learn Parsha, and then we read a book that he gave me. Which Parsha would you say is your favorite? Oh, gee. That's like saying, what do you like ice cream better than chocolate? I like all of the Parshas, because they're very interesting. How would you say the learning with your Torah me helps you? Jeanette makes I doubt any more meaningful. I started with Moderni. There were words that I didn't know, and she helped me translate. When you know what you're saying, you feel closer. It isn't just a formality. I feel like it's like another different school that I'm going to, and I feel very educated and proud. How do you keep that thirst for learning so strong? I think that's a blessing that comes straight from Hashem. I just like to keep learning and surprise myself. If you can say anything to Ura, what would you say to that? A person that doesn't know a lot of Torah can, and another person that does, they both get the mitzvah because one person gets a mitzvah of teaching and another gets a mitzvah of learning. It's a mitzvah that they're performing without measure. It's bringing understanding and therefore joy to life. Torah helps you learn and basically is your guide to life.